We are going to look at the integral of sine to the third power x. This is an odd power situation. So what we can do is we can take out one of the sine. Let me show you. This will be the same as integrating sine to the second power x. And then we take out one of them. So we have sine x right here. And we can quickly check this. Sine to the second power times sine to the first power is still the same as sine to the third power. And the reason for us to do that is I want to save a sine factor here. And then let's look at this part. I can look at this as sine to the second power x, and we'll try my best to convert that into an inspiration in terms of cosine. That way we can just use u sub to finish this up. And this is not bad because we can just change this immediately because sine to the second power x is the same as 1 minus cosine to the second power x. And then we multiply by sine x right here, dx. So the strategy is, if you start off with an odd number power for sine, you want to take out one of the sine factor, and then you look at the remaining infinite power, and then you want to use the sine cosine conversion. I will just say that's a conversion. It's not a power reduction formula. Sine squared x is the same as 1 minus cosine squared x. And you see, this expression right here is in terms of cosine. So what I can do is, I can just let u equals to cosine x. And then we can get du equals to negative sine x dx. And then let me just isolate the dx here. And now we can divide both sides by negative sine x. dx will be the same as du over negative sine x. And let me show you how we are going to end up. This will be the same as integral the 1 minus the cosine. It's the same as u. So we have u squared because we have cosine squared here. And then let me just write down sine x right here. I would like to show you guys the cancellations. And the dx is the same as du over negative sine. So du over negative sine x. And you see the sine x will cancel each other out. And then we can just convert this integral when you have the in the u world. It's just a polynomial. I can take out the negative in front. So we can just look at the negative integral. And the inside here is 1 minus u squared du. And this will be pretty easy to integrate. Well, let's put on negative, And then I will have to open the parentheses to put down the result. The integral of 1 in the u world is just u. And the integral of negative u to the second power in the u world will be minus 1 third u to the third power. And then I can distribute the negative into the parentheses. In the meantime, u is equal to cosine x. That means just plugging back. So we have negative u, which becomes negative cosine x, and negative times negative becomes positive, and then we have the one third, u is equal to cosine x, so it's just plugging back, cosine to a third power x, and then we are done.